Hey, Aaron Rabinowitz here for Red Giant, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the new tool from Red Giant Universe called Unmult. Now, Universe Unmult is a great tool for removing the black background from your footage. You may be familiar with an older plugin that we have at Red Giant called Null Unmult, and this is based on the same exact principles, but this one runs on the GPU and is included as a part of the Red Giant Universe download. It's a free plugin, so just download Universe and you'll have it. In the meantime, let's check this out. So I've got this, uh, these paint splatters, and you can see that there's actually two layers. There's a yellow one, a red one, and a logo that we have in our background. And what I want to do is composite this all together. Now you might say the fastest solution is to do something like using a blending mode, like screen. And that might work in some cases, maybe if it were fire, um, but and even then it's not always exactly what you want. But in a case like this, where we've got dark paint splatters over logos that are like light like this with a white or even just light colors you can see that it looks like it's it's really behind it or partially transparent so a blending mode isn't going to work so let's take a look at one more thing let me set this back to the normal blending mode and I just want to make it very clear that there is no alpha channel if I turn on this checker box right that shows me the transparency grid I can see that the transparency is here for the logo but I can't see it here for this footage. So this footage is over a black background. With that done, I'm going to choose the layer, select it, and choose Effect, go to Universe Utilities, and choose Unmult. And as you can see, that removes the black background. Let's just uh, turn off the checker box for a moment, and you can see that this is being composited much better. And we can do the same thing for our top layer of the paint here. And I'll choose Effect, Unmult. And as you can see, we've got a nice composite going on. Now, this could be a little bit better, and I'll show you just something else that you can do to help this a little more, because it's still partially transparent. And that's because there is some black stuff that was in the original footage where it's just a little bit transparent. But in this case, I feel like I'd like to make the uh, paint a little bit stronger. So what I'll do is, with my layer selected, I'll choose Effect, and we'll go with Color Correction, and we can try something like Curves or Levels. Let's go with Levels here, and we'll make sure to select uh, Alpha Channel and I'll just tighten things up here. So now you can see that I've tightened it up. We're not seeing any of the background through that anymore. And I'm just copy this and I'll paste it right onto my red layer. And you can see it's looking a lot better. And if you wanted to make things even more intense, so let's say we choose uh, RGB here and we just we tighten up the it's just a little bit like this, tighten things up just a little bit over here, bring up our uh, our whites and we get a much more intense color treatment and I'll just copy this back over here command C jumping back over to here select my levels effect and command V and we've got a much more intense look so let's take a look at that now and that's looking pretty good and now let's take a look at it in Premiere Pro so I've got some snow footage here and uh, below that I've got some stuff uh, that's from some foresty area and I've actually done some color correction on this just so you can see I um, wanted to make it look a little less like it was a beautiful day and we had some smoke in there and there's uh, removed the blue from the sky so it looks kind of cloudy and smoky maybe there's a volcano erupting nearby and what I have here is this uh, snow and I don't want to treat this like snow I actually want to make this look like volcanic ash so using a blending mode like add or screen isn't going to work because it would come through as white and then it really wouldn't work at all. So with this selected, with the footage selected, I'll go over to uh, Universe Utilities and I'm going to add in Unmult. And uh, as you can see, what happens is we have our snow here, just looking just like that, but now it's, it's white snow. And I want to change the color, so I'm also going to use another Universe Utility called Fill Alpha. And I'll drop that on and it becomes purple, which is not what I want. I'll set this to black and then let's take a look. So now we've got this black snow and if we play it back we'll see that it looks like volcanic ash. Pretty cool. Anyway that's using Universe Unmult. Hope that this helps you in your work. Once again I'm Aaron Rabinowitz for Red Giant. I'll see you soon.